Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunderous Lure Company. Welcome to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. And if you're passing through for the first time, feel free to subscribe. We've got a great family of subscribers. Today, folks, we're boatless, and I'm here with the boatless angler himself. We've got Antonio with us today. This is his element for sure. And today, folks, we're looking for channel cat. I'm gonna run the sliding sinker rig today. I've got the new zip line sliding uh, sinker rig on from Thunder Mist. And as you know, it just zips along very effort effortlessly, if I can say that right, uh, with absolutely no line wear. And I stuffed myself a catch a cat bait pocket. Let me get my line out there. I stuffed myself a catch a cat bait pocket with some cut bait and cut liver mixture and I've got myself a nice five odd hook with a lot of hook gap I put it on and Antonio's I'm running a smaller one I've got the size three catch a cat Antonio's running the size five yep size five catch a cat so he could put a lot more bait into his with a lot more scent and we got ourselves a beautiful day. We got a nice shoreline. Look at this. I even got a nice place to sit. And uh, I think I'm going to do exactly that. This is what boatless fishing is all about right here, folks. Finding a shoreline and getting the line wet. That's exactly what we're doing today. And hopefully the channel cat bite is on. Stay tuned, folks. Hey, any size? It doesn't feel that big. Of course, the boatless angler strikes works, folks. The boatless angler strikes first. Definitely okay. a channel though. Channel cat? Yeah. But not, not that big. Okay. You want to net it from that side? I'll net him, yeah. Okay. You get him getting a little closer and I'll, I'll net him. We'll see what kind of size we got to him. So you know what that means, folks. I'm going to upsize. We started off small on purpose. I went with the smaller size three just in case these fish were a little bit lethargic. Not that much on the bite, but since he went with a size 5 bait pocket, I'm going to go with a size 6. I'm going to re-rig and put a size 6 on and pack it really full. Looks like these fish want bait today. That was a good bite you had too, eh? It was, yeah. Hey, he jumped. Did he? Yeah. <laughs> he okay. gave a jump. There he is. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. oh, that's a good fish. Hold this angling, folks. There you go. Nice yellow color to him, too. Little guy. Yeah, but he took that big bait. That's why I'm thinking the upsize. <laughs> <Slimy. laughs> uh, Alright, well. This is funny. Oh. There you go. Do you want a picture? Uh, no, I'll pass. You'll pass on it? Yeah. All right. Take that leaf off in there. Here we go. Nice. Wow, he took off. Yeah. Did you see him go? <laughs> <laughs> that was really something. Okay, so if these fish are aggressive, yeah. Load up, Antonio. Load up. There yeah. you go. Thank you. We're off to a good start, folks. Yes! Yeah! Oh! Upsizing has paid off! I come to join the boatless angler with a hook set. Coming to join you with a net. Nice! Feels decent. I better back up on the drag just a bit. That was a real nice bite, folks. Feels decent? Yeah, feels like a good fish. Okay. Hopefully he doesn't cross your line now. Boatless angling. Watch these rocks. Here. There's rocks. There's he's he's under your line now. If you want to maybe lift your rod tip, oh, that's it. There we go. Okay. Because he's going where he wants to go. And he's peeling a bit of drag here. He's getting close. I see my zip line. No, no, he's deciding to. <laughs> These fish are strong. I see a boil. Good one. He's 
coming close to shore. Can't see oh, anything. He just, he just, <laughs> that was funny. Uh, he, he lost his orientation. He came swimming towards shore. There he is. Oh, he's dark and gray. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Big size five bait pocket. Uh, little bigger than yours? I don't know. That Come on, a little bigger than yours. I don't know. About <laughs> Both the same size. All right. Yeah, you can see my bait pocket there. He gave me a good bite. And you know what? I could probably still use that bait pocket. Five odd hook. Lots of hook gap, but okay. Let's take a look at this fish. He's gonna squirm around like Antonio's did. He's gonna go in that, <laughs> that water there. There we go. You know what? I think I might want a picture of this guy. That's a nice, he's gray. The one Antonio had was a was all yours was all yellow and brown. How about grab me a quick photo of this? Okay, that was a nice little photo op for our Facebook and Instagram friends. And you know what? They don't all have to be huge. That is a nice size channel cat. Look at the whiskers on them. Big gray. This one's big gray. It's a male. We're gonna put this one right back in. The male's got the bigger mouths. The females have the smaller mouths. All right, get this guy back in there. Okay, oh, that was that was worth it just for the bite. I absolutely loved it. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to rebait with another another bait pocket because he kind of mangled this one. But that's okay. I'm gonna stick with the larger size, the size six bait pocket. I might even upsize to a seven. We'll see, we shall see. But one thing is. We are running out of a bit of real estate. As you can see here, we've had to build had to build, build our own break wall because, because the wind has been blowing this way and the water has been slowly, steadily rising. I got water behind me here, but I want to stay as close to the water and get as furthest cast as I possibly can. The joys of boatless angling. But you know what? That's what it's all about. Find the shoreline, get a line wet, and enjoy your day. That's what the Boatless Angler and I are doing today. I want to thank you ever so much for joining us in today's episode of Thundermus Fishing Tips. And as always, folks, until next time, good luck and good fishing. You got the bait pockets? Yep. All right, coming for a big one.